Hello, my name is Fernando. I'm currently a rising second year here at Darden, part of class of 2024. And today I will be showing you guys a little bit of this wonderful school where I have the pleasure to study. And here with me we have my dear wife, Marina, who I would like to thank a lot, not only for all the support, but also because she's the one who's gonna record most of my videos inside Darden. So without further ado, let's go and explore a little bit. I hope you guys enjoy it and hope to welcome you here in Seaview. So here we are already inside Darden and here is the hall where normally lots of people get together for both first coffee and second coffee as well. First coffee is normally from 9.30 to 10 a.m. and second coffee 11.25 to 11.45 a.m. And you can come by here and see that it's a great space that we have to get together. And many of the celebrations here at Arden also happen here in this space. And if you come here, you can see that to the right we have this hall where you can find normally many people. Now it's summer break, so naturally most people have already started their internships. That's why there is not a lot of them here. But you can see here that there's plenty of space and we also get together here, not only to study, but just to talk, to chat a little bit, and also outside where I'm gonna show you guys a little bit more later. And here, if we can move it, we're gonna see that we have Cafe 67, one, I would say not one, it's the main cafe at Darden and you can grab snacks here as well as grab some drinks and also get around since there are lots of tables and if you take a sneak peek here like I said it's closed because of the summer break but it's a great space where normally you are going to find lots of people getting together so let's keep moving and this is a map that we normally make here at Arden, every day basically because the classrooms are behind her. So let's keep moving. Oh, and it's nice to say that over here there is also an entrance to Cafe 67, where if you get closer, you can get a little bit closer here and just look that we also have a restaurant here besides the cafe. So as you can see, here we have some really nice food that you can have, but it's not the only restaurant at Darby. And moving ahead, here we have some vending machines for when you know you have to be late nights here standing with your learning team so you can buy some stuff. You can see that over here we have the alumni leadership lounge and let's keep moving. some clubs get together here and let's say for example BCS, Darden Christian Fellowship. Every Tuesday morning some of them get reunited here to talk, to chat, to eat some bagels as well. But also you can see lots of people having coffee chats here and there's almost any environment here at Darden. It's a place where you can anytime chill, relax, study, Hop in here and do whatever you want. So, I don't know if you all remember that I had just had that 
At Cafe 67, we have one of the restaurants that are open, but not the only one. And here we are walking towards the other one that we have. So, oh, down there, by the way, we also have Abbott Auditorium, where you will have, when you get to the garden, your orientations, a part of it. And also, when speakers come here and they expect a huge crowd and lots of speakers come here, you will also have it uh, on the floor that is under us. So here, as I was saying, in the other restaurant, you can see like that there are lots of chairs, all empty once again because of summer break. But normally you get it to a line here and you can grab some food. They have different options depending on the day of the week. And you can also buy, uh, it's like a pet, where you buy, you pay less for each dish and you can just use it in a very quick way. Here at the cashier, you have a, a determined amount of money that you can use during the quarter, during the semester. I didn't use it every time that I came to eat here. I paid individually for the meal, but it's cheaper if you are going to just eat it here a lot. It's cheaper to get the package. So you can also see that up there we have the admissions uh, rooms, the career center rooms, the interview rooms. So it's a whole lot that we have going on here. With that said, let's go so I can show you guys some of the clerks rooms that we have here at Bergen. And if your computer ever gets some issues, you have the service desk here, very helpful by the way. So here we are entering the hallway that takes us to the classrooms and you can see that right behind me we have the mailboxes. So each student has a mailbox of their own, own with their names on it and that's good not only because Darden leaves the printed cases here that you are going to have to study normally during CORA at least you have three cases you have to read per day, but also some people leave kind notes to you, gifts during recruitment season, that is hard, that you have to go through a lot. So it's a very uh, nice space that they build in the sense of community building as well. And I can see that my mailbox here is empty. I came here before classes ended last month, but here you, we have all the names of class of 2024. And over there, we also have the class of 2023. So now, considering I'm a rising second year, I love that name. Uh, our tags are going to come here and class of 2025 is going to be put in here. Oh, we also have, by the way, here the Office of Student Affairs. We have a team at Durban that will support you for whatever you need, be it personal, be it professional, be it because you want to create a club, because you want to be part of a club, you can come talk to them because they are immensely helpful. So let's keep moving. Here behind me, we have the classrooms hallways. So normally, how does that work? You can come here and see that we have, for example, classroom 120. Here at Darden, once you get in here, uh, people, the class of around 350, 360 people, this classroom, this class is going to be divided in sections. Section A, B, C, D, and E. As you can see, I'm section D, probably, but each of these sections will go through core together. So normally what happens is, for example, 
uh, section A will be in classroom 120, section B 130, section C 140, and so forth. And we can enter here to take a look. Let's see if I know how to turn the lights on. Oh, they turned on by themselves, that's great. So we have here all the chairs. You can see that on purpose, they are arranged like that because having an environment that's circular with the professor in the middle allows people to participate in the discussions. And as you know, Northern is 100% case method. That means that when you come here, all your classes, yes, all, even accounting, are gonna be case method. And that's, at least for me, one of the main factors that make Northern pop up in anyone's eyes because it allows you to really develop your critical thinking, how to respond quickly, and for internationals, how to be thinking in English, something that many of, you, of us are not used to doing. So the professor is sent here and acts normally as a moderator of the discussions while your students are all around. For core, normally you have your seats set by OSA, whose team we just saw, Office of Student Affairs. So you're gonna have a name tag here and you're gonna have a fixed seat. But for electives that you're gonna do, uh, it changes a little bit and you start to be able to choose your own seat. So, oh, you can see that Darwin still uses the classical blackboard here. And that's actually great because it allows a very high, allows discussions to be very dynamic. So we have three of them, and normally, yes, all three are used in the process. So that's it, let's go out here. And you can see that here behind me, we have other uh, classrooms, as I was saying. And let's take a sneak peek on the learning team rooms as well. So here are some of the learning team rooms. And we can even enter one so you guys can have an idea of how it looks like. And you have the chairs here, the table, the printer, the TV, where you can just put your computer as a screen. And once you get to there, then, uh, like I said, not only you're going to be attributed a section, but also a learning team. And that enriches and allows you to learn so much more because learning teams normally are groups of six or seven people that come from different backgrounds. So you will go through core together, studying the cases, going over all the cases. And let's say in my learning team, for example, we had me, a lawyer by training. We had someone who worked at Amazon, people with finance background, accounting background, someone who is a doctor who is doing right now a MBA slash MD. So a dual degree, you have the opportunity to do those here at Durban as well uh, at UVA actually. And this is how a learning team room looks like. You're gonna spend a lot of time here during the car. So let's go out and take a look at how it looks like outside where we host lots of nice events. So here we have the famous Northern Pillars. Behind me, I dreamed a lot to be here uh, before I, I turned into part of class of 2024. And it's a really nice day, like you can see. We have here the building where we work the entrance. Over there, the professor's building that we talked about before. And here, this beautiful lawn. Here, we have, like I was saying, many events, for example, cold calls, that are events hosted almost every Thursday, evening, I would say 5 p.m., 6 p.m., where people get around, get together, once again, to chat, to have some drinks, to make friends, to have some food, and it's really 
beautiful as you can see today during summer it's beautiful all year round actually we also have for example over here the global food festival one of the best festivals at Dordan you're gonna try so much food when you come to Dordan you will have a free membership at the gym here so if you like it, I must say that I don't choose it that much, but if you like it, it's amazing, it's pretty spacious. So, uh, this is it for now. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm gonna record some more sneak peeks for you all, and it's been a pleasure to talk to you, and please do let me know if I can help with anything. Thank you.